Can I Mr Speaker, kia ora tato. Uh, my, my question is to the Minister of Social Development and Employment and asks, does she agree with the Office of the Children's Commissioner's recent report into children and care that priority should be given to research focused uh, on the needs of, tam- of Māori tamariki and rangatahi in the care system? And if so, what action is she intending to take to implement the report's recommendations? The Honourable Judith Collins. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister, yes, there is a work programme being developed on the issue of children in care. What is clear is that outcomes for children who have to be taken into care are far from ideal, whether they are Māori or non-Māori. As I'm sure that member would agree, the state should be the parent of last resort. Mr Speaker, um, what will she do to remedy the report's findings that approximately half of Māori children in the care population are not currently living with whānau, a fact that undermines current policy and le- legislation, which has a very strong emphasis on whānau, hapū and iwi connection? The Honourable Judith Collins. Mr Speaker, well, first off, the best scenarios for children is that their parents and their whānau do not harm them. However, where children aren't safe and we have to intervene, the first priority is finding them a safe and secure place to live. Ideally, and in many cases, this is with family or whānau. But it is a sobering reality that this isn't possible for all of the 4,200 children and young people in child, youth and family care, especially those in short-term care. Rahui Katane. Thank you, Mr Speaker. How will the Minister respond to the finding that when kin placements are not investigated, some Māori and Pacifica children continue to be placed with Pākehā, foster parents, which the report concludes is a source of tension, especially when short-term placements drift into long-term? The Honourable Judith Collins. Uh, Mr Speaker, Child, Youth and Family is always seeking to do better in very difficult situations. However, it is important to note that this covers a range of circumstances which can make it very difficult for child, youth and family. For instance, some parents refuse to give details of whānau, or sometimes a child has to be uplifted urgently at short notice in very serious situations, and we are working alongside iwi to make sure that Māori children are in families, not state care, wherever possible. Tim McIndoe. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Supplementary question to the Minister. What is the government doing to improve outcomes for children in state care? Honourable Judith Collins. Mr Speaker, we recognise that the best outcome for children in care result from being part of a safe, secure and permanent family. And that is why in August we announced the Home for Life programme to get children and young people out of care and into families. And we're developing programmes specifically to help iwi find safe, secure family homes for Māori children in care, such as whānau finders and extended marae-based family group conferences. Question number 10, Moana Mackie. 